angels willing to hold us in their arms When our words of stone are ashes And we both passed on Let forever mean forever and carry on Good afternoon. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, the uh, the news coming out of Iran is extremely concerning. I had considered maybe making a video or going live earlier, and I went ahead and I held off. Um, I guarantee you something will come from this. Um, this is this is concerning. This is concerning. Um, because I guarantee you that Iran will retaliate regardless of what the United States does. Um, it will not take much to escalate what's going on in Iran to the point uh, to where there's no doubt war declared. And I'll tell you what, I, I think uh, Putin's, Putin's warning, in my opinion, is pretty clear. Pretty clear. This is this is nuts, but I, I would implore that you get ready and you make sure you do what you can. I know I'm a broken record. There's a reason I'm a broken record. Um, start going through your things. Start getting your things together. Make sure your things are organized. just uh really important if um you know any number of things could happen at this particular moment here in the US the, my biggest concern um regardless of who it came from quote unquote um a cyber attack on the grid is what I would see as being most likely. Um, that could be done by any party <laughs> and blamed on any other party. Um, I would just, uh, I, I would say be ready. Be ready. Because I think that an attack on Iran I think it's going to lead to a very different set of circumstances than uh, than what we're used to seeing. Could it possibly be a grid down scenario? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um... I just don't see this going off like uh, anything that we've seen in our lifetimes or anything close. I, I don't. I don't think that uh, it's something that's probably experienced uh, by anyone on the planet, because I think the weapons that would be used. I think you, there a lot of them would be very first time deployed we'll see we'll see it's not good it uh i guarantee it it will be very fast paced uh the very next move that's made and i do believe that the us from uh from my understanding uh at this time unless it just ended uh, at this time, there is a meeting, a high-level meeting going on uh, to discuss the situation. So, 
you know, literally within the next 24 hours, uh, a major, major event could get kicked off. So, something to keep an eye on, without a doubt. And, and like I say, I, I urge you, make sure you're doing what you can. Make sure you're as ready as you can be, even with what you have. Because, again, I I think this is going to be fought differently. And I think this is going to be fought effectively. uh, If it would come down to that. We'll see. Um, I know it's pretty upfront in the news. Um... Things being said by all parties are not any good. Not any good. So this is uh, probably about the biggest kind of nightmare scenario you could imagine for uh, those of us that understand that there's a provocation here. Anyway, um, I guess let me go ahead and get to the headlines. I I don't have a whole lot more to say other than just keep a very close eye on it. Um, Again, make sure you go through your things. Be organized. Be ready. Uh, any, Any number of things could kick off as a result of this. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, All right, let's uh, run through the normal stuff. Uh, Amazon Associate, we are at uh, $15.89. So uh, thank you very much for those that participate in that. Uh, For those that don't know, in the description of the videos, there is an Amazon affiliate link. If you shop Amazon and you click that link before you do your shopping, it will give us credit for the sale. It doesn't cost you anything more. It throws a little bit our way, and uh, every little bit adds up, and it's much appreciated. So uh, let's see. Also, if you don't shop Amazon and you want to help out, we do have a donate button on our website. You go to thewatchmannews.com. In the menu, it's uh, donate. Click on Donate, and it will open our PayPal donation page. So it will say Transforming Disabilities at top. That is us. Uh, It will say Purpose the Watchman News Donation. So anyway, um, like I said, there's a lot of news headlines dealing with this situation with Iran. So let me have a uh, sip of coffee real quick. Okay, I lied. I took two. Okay, um, let's see. This I shared last night. I don't know if I read this headline on the show or not. Uh, A winnable nuclear war new Pentagon document shows U.S. military thinks so. That's not, uh, not good to hear. Iran says it's completely ready for war after U.S. military confirms it shot down American drones. Uh, guns as religion, Trump's, uh, Trump's envoy calls for armed guards at synagogues and Jewish schools. Uh, let's see, that's the same thing. Uh, FBI arrest, ISIS sympathizer accused of plotting to blow up Christian church. Uh, drones, F-35s. Feature in Israel's largest military drill in years as Iran tensions rise. Uh, Homeland Security fuses all biometric data on an Amazon server. What could go wrong? (laughs) Gotta love it. Uh, One-way street MH17 probe says nothing of Ukrainian government's responsibility. A downing of U.S. drone, a clear message to Washington, says Iran's IRGC commander. 
Uh, it was Russia. Or it was to blame Russia from the beginning. Malaysia PM fires back at MH17 probe. Uh, China fights back against Trump tariffs by lowering duties on U.S. competitors. NASA moon rocket costing $800 million more than space agency is admitting, says Watchdog. Uh, Rothschilds accused of preying on South Africa's state-owned enterprises. Uh, irrational and unlawful UK government dealt landmark defeat over arms sales to Saudi Arabia. Uh, 87-year-old woman tasered by Georgia police, excessive force lawsuit pending. Uh, from somebody had commented that this uh, woman was brandishing a knife. Uh, I don't know all the details about this. Um, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know if she had physically threatened police with a knife or if she just happened to have one in her, her hands. Uh, there's a lot the headline leaves out, so. <laughs> uh, sanctions cost European economies $240 billion while Russia lost $50 billion, says Putin. Uh, U.S. tariffs against China are sanctions by in, by another name, Minta Hobble states, says Putin. Uh, U.S. should stop sending troops to Gulf before it's too late, says Moscow. That is a pretty clear warning, I do believe. Um, pretty clear warning. Uh, Putin predicts doubling of Russian agriculture exports by 2024. Uh, U.S. claims Iran down drone in unprovoked act as Tehran warns against crossing red lines. Blue. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Blue. Downed U.S. drone turned off, uh, yeah, okay. Downed U.S. drone turned off all identifying equipment in violation of international rules, Tehran says. Uh, we won't sell out our allies or principles to strike Syria deal with U.S., says Putin. Uh, Putin criticism of power has to be free and unimpeded. We are the only great military power to reduce its defense spending, Putin says. A lot of quotes from Putin today. Uh, Putin vows accountability for police officers complicit in Golanov drug scandal. Erdogan doubles down on S-400 deal, vows Turkey will retaliate against any U.S. sanctions. Iran made a very big mistake, Trump tweet, after U.S. drone shot down. Uh, Russian energy companies make top 20 list of most profitable investments. China warns black hand of Western meddlers to stay out of Hong Kong. Uh, Putin on MH17 downing, um, evidence presented against Russia, no proof at all. Uh, U.S. war on Iran could, be dis or could cause disaster in Middle East, says Moscow. I'm telling you, they're really warning about this war. Uh, let's see. Preparing for dollar doomsday, Russia adds six more tons of gold to its coffers in May. A brutal condemnation of UK foreign policy. Anti-arms sales campaigners react to Saudi arms ruling. A teen kicked out of class for claiming there are only two genders. Go figure. Um... We know that's science, but you can't talk about science here. Uh, you'll soon find out if U.S. will strike Iran, says Trump. I thought that was uh, a very interesting statement to make. 
Uh, Missouri U.S. Uh, Senator Howley introduced legislation legislations or something like that uh, to change how Facebook and YouTube operate. Uh, very interesting, very interesting. That was uh, uh, that link was actually sent to us by email. Um, ah, I can't remember uh, if there was a nickname there. I don't know. I'd have to look up the... Uh, but anyway, thank you. I remember the name. I just don't want to blast the name out there. Um, India deploys warships to Persian Gulf amid rising tensions between U.S. and Iran. Uh, Iran releases video of U.S. drone shot, uh, shoot down. Uh, and lastly here... Police fire rubber bullets and tear gas at anti-government protests near Georgia Parliament in Tbilisi. I know I butchered that uh, name of that city or town or whatever the hell that is. Anyway, that is uh, that is the headlines. Wow, that's another quick day. I don't know what else to tell anybody other than get your ass ready. Um, remember the uh, remember the old uh, helmet warning levels. You know, uh, you should have already bought your damn helmet. Uh, you should have already sized it and practiced with it and gotten used to it and became its buddy. And uh, man, I'm telling you right now, I would be ready to have to put that damn helmet on. I am serious. I am absolutely serious. So, um, anyway, let me go ahead and close up the monologue, and then we'll get on to videos. For those here for the live show, we'll be live till 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Don't go anywhere. Don't do anything. For those that are just here for the monologue, or you're watching the recording later, thank you very much. As always, God bless you. We love you, and be one with your spirit. <laughs>